In this video, we'll take a look at a couple of questions from the WebAssign assignment where you are graphing the quadratic functions. We learned about this today in Lesson 8.4. Uh, so on question 5, uh, we're going to determine the vertex and axis of symmetry, and then we'll graph the function. This parabola, the equation is x plus 7 squared minus 2. The transformations are left 7 down 2. So remember the parentheses movements are always opposite of the sign you see. Left 7 down 2 would give us a vertex at negative 7 comma negative 2. The axis of symmetry is the vertical equation, so we'll start with x equals, and it's equal to the x coordinate of the vertex. It's going to pass through that vertex vertically. So x equals negative 7 is the axis of symmetry. The easiest way to graph these is to use the parabola tool. So you want to double click on this and make sure that it's in blue and then plot the vertex first. So we'll go to negative 7, negative 2. Now notice sometimes on your graphs the scale changes. This particular grid goes up by 2's on the x and the y axis. So if I want to plot negative 7, negative 2, negative 7 will be between negative 6 and 8, and then I go down to negative 2 which is down just one unit and plot that point. Next I'm going to go over 1, up 1. Now you don't want to go up on the axis because remember it's a units of 2 units, so up 1 would be in between 0 and negative 2. Notice that it plots the graph, uh, but it's not complete yet. You can check uh, by expanding the graph layers to check the ordered pairs. This is where you can type over and adjust the points if you got it in the wrong place. It looks like everything's good, so the tip is once you're ready, click on the grid outside of your graph and it will lock it in for you. Let's submit this. So here you can see that um, the vertex axis of symmetry are correct. The green check mark tells me the graph is also correct. Now let's look at how to graph um, an example that has a vertical stretch or shrink. So let's look at this example and identify what's wrong here and then fix the graph. So I'm going to clear everything and start over here. So this graph is f of x equals 1 half times x minus 1 squared plus 2. The 1 half is multiplied by the function. That is a vertical shrink by a factor of 1 half. Minus 1 is a horizontal shift right 1 opposite of the sign. And plus 2 is a vertical shift up 2. So the coordinates of the vertex are right 1, positive 1, up 2, positive 2. The axis of symmetry is the vertical line x equals passing through the coordinates of the vertex. So it should be x equals 1 since that's the x coordinate of the vertex. Now to graph, select the parabola tool, make sure that it's in blue, graph 1, 2, so right 1 up 2. Notice that this coordinate plane is using a scale of 1, not 2's. Next I want to graph this shrink with my points. Normally we go over 1 up 1, so I really want to go over 1 up a half. If I try to click there though, it jumps up, so my point is incorrect. So I need to expand the uh, graph layers and adjust that coordinate. Point 2 should be at 2, 2.5. So I can clear the 3 and type 2.5. That will fix the point and now remember to click outside of it to lock it in. So let's submit to check that answer. Good, so the vertex is correct, axis of symmetry is correct, and then the graph is also correct. So just remember those tips when you're doing your own graphs, expanding the graph layers to adjust your coordinates of your points, especially for cases where you have to do a vertical stretch or shrink, um, and hopefully that helps you on this assignment.